One big change for Photoshop Elements users is hidden away in the Layers palette. In version 9 we now have the ability to add a layer mask to an individual layer. In previous versions we've had to make do with borrowing layer masks from things like adjustment layers and grouping them with our image layers in order to be able to use their mask with the image layer. Let's have a look at an example of an editing technique where we can make use of this mask. I'm just going to duplicate this layer, this background layer. And in the layer beneath, I'm going to leave it as a background. The one above, I'm just going to change the name of that to just black and white. Once we have that selected, I'm going to go up to Enhance and then down to Convert to Black and White and we'll do a little bit of adjustment just by selecting one of the options that we have here. That looks good. And then just click OK. So what we have now is a black and white version of the image and a color version of the image. The black and white version is sitting in the upper layer and the color version is sitting in the lower layer. If I keep the black and white version selected, I can go down and click on the Add Layer Mask button you see it places a layer mask and links it to the image. Notice there was no change in my image whatsoever. That's because the layer mask is now colored white. And when we're working with a white mask, it reveals. White reveals the effect. In this case, it's revealing the image layer that we have here. In contrast, if we click on this layer mask and then go up to Edit and down to Fill Layer, and choose black from this drop down menu, click OK, you now see that black conceals the effect. In this case it's concealing the whole of this image layer and we can see the color coming through from the background. Now this is terrific having this ability because by changing the color of the mask from black through to white, we can choose to reveal or conceal what's happening in the layers beneath. So in this instance, if I just hit Ctrl Z to go backwards so that we've got the black and white image on top, if I select the layer mask, go over to my foreground and background swatches and just switch them over so that I have black as my foreground swatch, then go up and grab my brush tool, I can then brush the color back into the foreground by just brushing in black onto the mask. So you can see how it's revealing the color from the background. The color from the background layer is coming through onto the foreground. Because if you have a look at the mask, we're painting black onto the mask. Because we're painting black onto the mask, it is concealing the up effect and the upper effect or the upper layer is the conversion to black and white. So if we just carefully work over these parts here, you can see how we can get a color and black and white effect together in the same image by using a masked upper layer. Now what if we make a mistake and accidentally paint over this area here? Well, when we're working with masks, it's not an issue because we can just come down and switch our paint color from black to white and we can paint back into the mask with white to make sure that the upper layer is revealed. In this case, it's the black and white and the lower layer is concealed. So try using some of these layer masks when you're trying to do things like blend images or control where the effect or the change is actually being applied to a lower layer.